Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage our MC for the evening, Victor Blackwell. Thank y'all to the seven people over here who clap every time they say my name. I appreciate that. That makes me feel warm. Victor Blackwell. <laughs> Thank you. All right. The next award is a very special one. It is the Harriet Michelle Chairman's Award, named for the woman whose leadership of NMSDC established its dominant position in the vanguard of economic diversity and supplier diversity. The award recognizes a lifetime of achievement that exemplifies the mission of NMSDC. And who better to present this award than Ms. Harriet Michelle? Hello. I'm glad to see you all again. Good evening, NMSDC. It is great to be with you on this night. And I am thrilled to be presenting this award because the recipient is a great American who was, they say in the script, present at the creation. He might not have been present at the creation. But of the basic idea of what we know as NMSDC. I am truly humbled to present an award in my name to Robert J. Brown, who is truly the father of minority business. Now, some of you are saying, particularly the younger ones are saying, well, who is Bob Brown? Who is Robert Brown? If it wasn't for Robert Brown and the work that he did, none of us would be here today. Some of us might be here, but not in the shape and the progress that we've made. Robert Brown had already accomplished a great pioneering success in his career as a minority entrepreneur at a time when nobody would recognize the powerful meaning of those words. In 1969, he was asked to serve as special assistant to President Richard M. Nixon. Bob Brown was instrumental in securing the presidential charter that year that resulted in the creation of NMSDC and then the supplier diversity movement in American business. He went to work for President Nixon, even though he was a close friend of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And even though he was there in the critical days of the civil rights struggle. Think for a moment about the history in this room with Bob Brown. And he is being honored tonight by the presence of Andrew, Ambassador Andrew Young to be here to support his friend. Would you please recognize Ambassador Young? Is there a light that can go on Andy Young? Andy Young is responsible for a whole lot of things that have happened good in Atlanta, in Georgia, and in our country and in our world. But back to Robert Brown, his legacy of putting principle and progress for minority Americans above the machinery of politics was one that we not only want to honor, but to learn from. We live in a time of deep division and socio-political tensions not unlike the late 1960s. The example of Bob Brown's life and his service is an inspiration we urgently need to recognize with the deepest respect and the most profound gratitude, the 2019 Harriet Michelle Chairman's Award goes from, to my great friend, a great American, Honorable Robert J. Brown. Please welcome him.
Thank you, Harriet. Thank all of you for being here, and my great and old friend, Andy Young, who we've been through many wars together with Dr. King and, and many others in this community. Uh, with Ralph Abernathy and, and just all of the civil rights fighters were there. I am so grateful tonight, not only for this award, but for the good Lord giving me the strength and courage and everything else that he gave me along with some great friends like Bob Wright and others here, Aideen and, and Johnny and the rest of them, because it has empowered me to go forward in every arena. I've had the opportunity to work all over the world. I've been involved with some of the largest corporations in the world at the highest level. And every time I just do what my grandmother asked me to do, she said, Bobby, give it back because it doesn't belong to you. She said, use what you have to lift others up and the good Lord will lift you up. She said, he'll lift you up so high sometime, boy, you can't even stand it. And that's what he has done for me. I mean, in every instance, whether it was uh, working to get Nelson Mandela out of jail and taking care of his children for years, whether it was sending millions of books to Africa and other countries where there were no books for black children, and all the other kinds of things that Andy and Bob Wright and other people in this audience worked on, and I worked on with Ralph and and Dr. King and the rest of them, Hosea. It has been a journey. And tonight I wanna to say uh, thank you to all of you in this audience who've been helpful to all of us to get going. Many of the things that we've, we've gotten over the years, we started this Minority Business Enterprise Program in 1969 and everybody said it couldn't be done. There were many people who said it couldn't be done. That, uh, you know, you couldn't make this kind of breakthrough in the federal government. But luckily, the good Lord saw to it that I was working there with Richard Nixon, and he turned it over to me, lock, stock, and barrel. There was nobody who could cross me. And I took it and went on with it. And so here we are billions of dollars later, government contracts later. And we can't let anything stop us now. We got to keep on going, no matter who is there. If they want to live with us, if they want to be our president, if they want to be our congressman, if they want to be our senators, let's keep them in check and let's go forward. We can't go backwards. We didn't, we didn't come down this road to go backwards. And so tonight, I want to say thank you. I thank God. <clears throat> I thank God for letting me be here. I've had an opportunity to travel all over the world and work with some of the most powerful men in the world, work for the largest corporations in the world. And each time, each and every time, I just ask God to give me the strength and the courage and the mindset and to do whatever I know to be the right thing. And we all know right from wrong. Some people act like they don't know, but we know. And what we need to do is keep in check, not only for this country, but for our children and our children's children. We need to show them the way. And if you're gonna show them the way, you gotta stand up and act like you're a man or a woman who loves America. We love America. So let's keep it going. So I just want to thank you. I want to thank God for letting me be here tonight, for raising me up for a time like this, and for giving me the strength to keep on going. I'm still traveling all over the world, working with many governments and corporations in many countries. And so I'm not going to lay my sword down until the Lord takes me home. Until that time, I'm going to try to be doing the right thing for the right reasons and lifting up the poor among us. Those who have little, we, they have a chance so that they will have a chance in life. 
So tonight, I just want to thank you. I want to thank God for letting me be here and for me to be able to accept this wonderful award. And I thank all the people who had any part in this. I am so grateful. And I hope that God will continue to give me the strength and courage to move on as I have moved on. At 84 years old, I, I still work 15 hours a day and I travel all over the world. So I am so grateful. I know I'm blessed, and I know as long as he keeps giving me the energy and the wherewithal and everything else that it takes to, to move the levers of power and all over the world, I'm going to keep on doing it. So thank you all. Thank you very much, and may God bless you all, and may God bless this organization.